Hello, Arec187, and welcome back to episode 46 of our Rule of Waves 2 playthrough as Austria Hungary. And in the last episode, we started off the renovation and rebuilding of our fleet with modernizing some of our old battleships and laying down a few new heavy cruisers. And as we head into this episode, that theme is going to continue as we can work on a few of our carriers and really try and get the fleet uh, prepared for our next war. At this stage, it looks like it's going to be against France. Obviously, our only two targets in a minute are France and Great Britain as we try and achieve our Mediterranean dream before the end of the game. As ever, this was taken from a Twitch live stream, so I'll just hand you guys over to a live audio. Alright, see what that does to our budget. But yeah, like that's it's a it's a good bit of doing actually, kind of raise and lower your number as the tensions rise and fall. Because otherwise I would just forget, find myself at war, and then realise I've got no aircraft anywhere. Uh oh, it's an old light cruiser, fair enough. That seemed surprisingly cheap. Okay. Quiet turns. Very quiet turns. Um, Prison intelligence and anti-submarine warfare. Good. It's definitely the end of the era of submarine Oh, uh, End of the submarine era. Uh, you're going to sell us anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. Sure. I'll buy that. Yeah, I'll extend it with Russia. Um, yeah, mate, have it. Because the, the... Ooh, double SAM launchers. Oh, no, we're set back. Okay. The real beauty of the agreement with Russia is it could forces France and Britain to split their fleets. Doesn't matter if Russia doesn't bring anything to party, just being there as an annoyance is enough. Okay, our rebuilds are going on. Uh, we have got 50 million in the bank, it's quite nice. There we go, first battleship out. She's now vaguely useful, uh, and just go straight into Mothball. Is, do I risk sending you in for a refit? How long would that take? Uh, I need to go speed as well to get you get it to work. And we want you to have electro optical. Fifty million. It's an expensive way to get four knots for sure, but makes this such more versatile ship. Again, not you know, decks probably still a little bit light, but. Two point nine a month. I think we can afford this. We'll just throw on some more light AA. Okay. Rounds are a bit low, but it's not a lot I could do about that. Oh, I suppose I could. No, that's very expensive. Weight wise, that is. HA is all right. Reasonable amount of light AA. And then you would be a fast battleship. Good. And we've got an ever so slight negative, which is going to get a little bit more negative when we rebuild these guys. And that's just going to be a lick of paint. At some point, I probably will knock out another dozen uh, Corvettes. In fact, probably more than we needed. No, it's like 20 odd. So we shall wait until six months until this lot clears. Well, these ones clear down here. And then we'll knock out a bunch of corvettes just so there. Minerva, an up internal upheaval in Java. France is sending a force there. Ooh. Ooh. How ready am I? Not that ready, to be perfectly honest. I'm going off the middle one. Probably like a few more months. Yeah, okay, good. 
Rebellion continues. That's fine. Tensions are still up. Uh, that's not wanted to do. I want to move them up. So there's a couple of things I'd like to do. Um, okay, we're two months away, Corvettes. Where for me from our next battleships? Six months. So I really don't want to poke a, poke a war for relief for six months. Okay. I'll behave. Uh, I want to knock out a Corvette. Yeah, 600 tons is absolutely fine. Uh, you don't need two guns. I just want you to be cheap. What did that cost? Save. Alright, that saves like 50. That's not really worth it. I'll, I'll leave you. You can be 20. Oil is like hardly any difference, so why not? You can have oil. Ah, click, 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 click. Okay, fine. Yeah, you don't need that. That. Mine sweeping and depth charges. Yes, I'll let you have those. Nothing, 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 nothing. Good. Happy? Fire control's not the best type. Doesn't matter. You're not supposed to be fighting anyone. Oh, there you go. Pilot on France. Kai's return from state visit to France. Bring home a post to solve outstanding sources of tension in our nations. What is your response? You can never trust France to keep her arrangements, but are armed for conflict and beat them soundly. Or we should take this as an opportunity. Do I flight their catapults? N no, and I don't... Well, check this after this. I don't think I've got the tech for it yet. I'll have to double check but that's not just happened and I've missed it. Because that would be hugely valuable. Uh, I don't want to make friends, even though I don't really want a war. So, this could be the war we're not really ready for. Actually, I really don't want a war because I've got nowhere near enough uh, corvettes. That was potentially a bad choice, that. Um, research. Where are we? Uh, now, is it under this one? Oh, I do have flight deck capitals. Catapults. Do I have it on? These things. Hang on. Uh, yeah, let's look at your design. No. And I absolutely should. Okay. There's something for us to do ourselves. Well, let's start with you two since you need a refit anyway. really matters where you put them, apart from how it looks. Uh, oh, that's a, not the way I wanted it. Sure. Oh, why are you so low on space? There's only 20, only 40 tons. Okay. And trim, oh man, you are going to be a rubbish ship. I mean, that's a bit harsh. Uh, one and two, you reckon? Yeah, okay. I thought, yeah. I can buy into that. I really don't want to take a plane off. But I might have to rather than sacrifice all your medium AA. Hmm. That hurts. That does hurt. But one plane's not much good if this thing gets mauled. And I know it's going to have a cap, or it might not have a cap, actually, it might be providing its cap elsewhere. 
but they still always they still get through so we'll go for that it almost fits on the deck indeed it's almost perfect cool all right that will have to do find not the best type uh does that don't know if that really matters actually i don't know if that affects your uh, aa or not but considering it doesn't cost much weight we'll do it anyway yep uh, rebuild these two please okay so if we grab someone like the algiers we all we want to do is throw some caplets on her so hang on Why are all my ships starting with massive negative weight? It's not, I have not updated my game or anything. I don't know why that's happening. Unless it's just a quirk between our design and, and reality. Which happens. Aircraft grown larger. No, that sounds reasonable. I did not know that was a thing. If it's true, um, we could also bulge it, get it back. It cost me three knots though, so I'd be down to twenty-five knots, which isn't great. But now I've got catapults. Probably not the end of the world. I mean, what else would I do if I wasn't going to do that? How many? 350 tons. That's quite a lot. I mean, these are good at, you know, six inches of armor, field defense three. They're okay against air attacks, just don't want to get in, in uh, ship combat. Yeah, they get bigger and heavier of the game. Ah, that's really interesting. It makes a lot of sense. And yeah, I'd never thought about that before. Do you know, I have no idea what this additional deck armor actually does. Obviously, I know it adds additional deck armor but in terms of uh, mechanics. Anyway, that's a complete aside. Let's go for bulge. We'll drop down to 25 knots. That's not the greatest thing in the world. It's, I mean, it's pretty slow, actually. But um, that should be fine because now we're not at the whims of the wind. It should be plenty enough speed just to stay out of trouble. So with that, we've now like 140 extra tons. How's our A? It's just almost maxed. So I suppose we could stick on some. Uh, I don't know, dual punch, dual purpose, five inches. And it'll have to be four because we've already got fives up there. Sure, why not? And then we shall call that good enough. Alright, so it should come out a little bit slower, but much more useful. I do. I'm I'm flirting dangerously here with all these rebuilds, actually. I just uh, have caught myself. Four months, that's not too bad. But maybe when I we want to hold off on the others, just so we have some active carriers in case this war breaks out. Um, I'd also think I'm going to go to my air groups. Um, push them up to 10. And after that, it's going to get. She's not too bad because we can do it by group. Most of. Yeah, yeah, because flying bolts will stay at 10. Most of the beautiful bombs are going to go up to 20. We can make this work. That being too much micro? Okay. See what happens. Corvette's finished, that's good. Ah, oh, here we go. An upheaval in Hainan. France is sending force there. What do you recommend? I'm gonna say don't raise tensions. As much as I'd love to go to war. Okay, they take hand. Fine, doesn't really bother me. Uh, 
uh, carry its priority. Uh, uh, there's a question for you. Is there any way of setting priority other than just increasing these ones first? But you're right, it makes a lot more sense to go carriers first. Ever so slightly nice from the budget, but that's absolutely fine. We've got a whole bunch of rebuilds being all, all, merrily on their way. So three months. Yeah, three, four months, I will happily go to war. I think we'll be in great shape. Minus the Corvettes, actually. That is true. We probably need another 12. That's frustrating. How much it cost me a month? A couple of million. I think we can manage that. Yeah, that's fine. 15 million, we can manage that. That's no problem. Okay, let's get them rocking and rolling. Because otherwise, all our destroyer forces are going to have to go and trade protection, which is going to be a pain. Have it, mate. Happy to sell it to you. If you play for prestige, not objecting possessions costs one prestige point. Ah, fair enough. Normally, well, that's not, yeah. It, it, normally, I do out of spite, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Just annoy the eye. Only with one exception is being if it's somewhere I want to take, then obviously you've got to let them have it to take it from them. Um, but in this instance, it was purely because I'm not ready for war. I'm trying to be a little bit sensible about life. Right, we'll mothball you guys. Uh, you can also go mothball. We will need to try and work up our fleets a little bit. I think once we hit. So yeah, we'll keep you guys inactive. Why not? Once we finish all our rebuilds. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Then let's maybe push, uh, activate a little bit more and try and get our quality up a little bit. Oh, you can come in on to reserve. Oh, for God's sake, you just, you, you want it, don't you? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. It's game. It's trolling me now. So we want to deploy a fish force in the med to deter aggressive moves by the French. Get up to 83. Okay. That'll probably do it. Budget and tension or budget and double tension. That's, I mean, this is essentially going to mean more. I'm tempted to go for it. Although we're rusty. We're very rusty. But that's okay, we can play a coy the first couple of months just as people get their skill up. Let's go for it. Now is time. Okay. Hey groups, let's prioritize the carriers. You are slightly shy. You to 15. You to 15. It's too many. My CVL. Oh yeah, you're tiny. And you're a lot bigger, which is good. Probably want let's get you guys into twenty. Don't know if I need more than twenty fighters, perfectly honest. Well let's actually since you are we're good. Let's maybe get rid of you and add on ten more dive bombers. And in fact, what I'm probably gonna do is get rid of you. I would like to add a unit of dive bombers, please. And then I'm going to stick you down to 10. And I'll put you up to 20. As I, I feel I'm finding them more useful of late. Which I tend to how it goes. What do I not have in the med? Oh, no, ships. Yeah, all my ships are in the med. Yeah, but Kaiser was just 
taking stuff off mothball anyway. Late game, a cap might even go heavy on fight. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll um, acquiesce. Throw another ten. Means I should have kept that group because Vizel just lost some experience. But hey ho. Okay, so we'll get thirty fighters, thirty speed bombers, thirty dive bombers. Well, that's a nice round number, if nothing else. Krakow needs three more of something. Why don't you just have three more fighters? As does Sarajevo. Fact. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll use one, two, three, six. Mm, 110, that is too many. You need to be a 10. Although the advantage was we should be able to get land base cap pretty much everywhere we're fighting. What do I want? I want you to be a 20, you to be a 20, and you to be a 20. Yep. Oh, I need to get to a new. Okay, and then maybe I'll leave everyone else for just now. Give them a chance to build up. We should probably bring everyone at least onto reserve. Apart from our cravettes, because we don't really care about them. But they're never going to go straight up to great anyway, so let's start them on reserve. At least for a month to see what happens. Yeah, Lambie's cap, only we have Lambie's fires, but we should have a good coverage. The, uh, I suppose the main advantage of the med. We have bases in most places. I also put all you guys on to active. Wow, we're so positive. That's nice to see for just now, anyway. All right. And we'll hit the button and see what happens. Hey, new battleship, new battleship. You rebuilt. France has sent ultimatum. All right, let's do it. Rebellion in Java continues. And we're at war with France. So two years of peace was all we got. Uh, so yeah, price for this war, very simple. We want Corsica and we want roads back. So that's only a value one. That, that's the wrong one. That's value five, so it means six points. Um, I don't plan on, oh man, our balance is looking brilliant. Um, Although we need to get all the aircraft back, so hold that thought. I don't plan on doing any evasions at the minute. It would be a result of a danger we don't end the war with enough points, but we'll see how it goes. We might change that. We should be able to get a six point war. He says confidently, based on not very much. Okay, how is their rebuild gold? So they're still not have any battleships. Uh, they're building one battle cruiser. Still the five CVs, still the four CVLs. And actually have less, less heavy cruisers than last time we looked. I don't know what they've been doing this time. They seem to have less ships than we had before. But don't forget to turn together when you're dodging potato, potato, ah, torpedoes. Sound advice and stuff. And one I will probably forget and eat many torpedoes. Okay. Uh, let's just, uh, where am I? Mobilization, please. Yes, activate everyone. Let's check my air groups. You guys are not nowhere near full, so I'll not do my not do any more of my land bases just yet. So we probably we probably want to keep play a little bit cagey for the first couple of months, um, just to let our air bases fill up a little bit. We're also going to need twenty one ships on trade protection. It's going to take an annoyingly large amount of our destroyers, but we can put our old ones on. Alright, trade protection please. It's 19. Oh, Kijio can go. Um, and I'm actually going to stick... Oh 
I've still only got two of them. When's my next heavy cruiser built? Oh, I'm still quite far away, actually. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put one of these guys on trade protection. Because last time, France tried to use into light cruisers to, do, to raiding. Yeah, to raid. And that heavy cruiser was quite good at dealing with that. So I'll put her on that. We still got seven million in the bank, which means I kind of want to build some more stuff, even though we're at war. So probably is going to be some light cruisers will be the next thing we want. So we're gonna have probably like half a dozen or so. But let's maybe just look at design. And what's my philosophy? What do I want out of my light cruisers? So I've really been focusing on. CLAs, haven't I? In fact, let's come back to that in a minute. What does our current one look like? Yeah, six inch guns, main guns, lots of secondaries. All those are just four inches. And its whole intent is to chew through destroyers and provide an AA cover. And we'll probably stick with that similar thing try and keep around my 10,000 ton mark but maybe put a Sam on it, Sam on it if we can as the fifth center line maybe even drop a turret of two Sams Sams always looks for Sams yeah where did my new cruisers go uh, well these are the new new ish ones I mean the other ones are here they've been not finished yet um, so, yeah, okay. I don't have double Sams yet, so but that's okay. We can do that. Light cruiser. Go for it. That's uh, an interesting design. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that one. Actually, hang on. How many... Central line turrets can I have? Oh, I thought it was five. I must have got more tech for that. Hang on, hang on, let me check. Research four. Is it light forces? I can't remember. No. Turrets and gun mountings? Here we go. Actually, I said that. It might not be here. Five plus sentinel, five or more sentinel turrets on ships. Fine. What's my limit? Well, I suppose an easy way to find out. Let's do this, do that. You'll do something similar. Uh, okay, insufficient is fine. Okay, well, what if I just went crazy and stuck on something else? It doesn't really matter where it is, it's just for science. I did eight. Okay, fire control issues, but that's it. All oh, right, okay. Chip design. Clues of a name, really. Yeah, I saw that. Five cent line turrets. I suppose I was looking for a six or seven or whatever, but... No matter. So we can have lots. Uh, right, where are we? Six, you're going to be triple... Triple, go to impose triple. Although I'm, how are we doing weight wise? You want to go up to, we'll call it around 10,000 for now. We're a bit light on weight, so that's fine. We can deal with this. Short range, because we are med focused. Twelve to fifteen, sixteen inch, two Sams, lots of HA. 
Okay. Do you, um... Question for you. Do you how I... I had it in my mind, and this could be completely false, but these six inches weren't as effective dual purpose as fives. For some reason I have in mind that fives were the best. And that could be complete nonsense. Oh, we got these... Oh. Here, yeah, what we could do. Why do I have that turret still? You go away. We could even drop and have fewer turrets, turret, fewer turrets, and a faster rate of fire. Which there's some logic in that. Yeah, six inch surface, five inch DP free. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad I wasn't just making that up. Because you never know with this game. Uh. Uh, yeah, we're out of weight already. I don't like that. I want some secondaries. No, how, how, how? So we get 300 tons for 500, which isn't great, but would allow us... Oh, come on. What, is, what rubbish placement's this? Give him a little bit of weight there, which is dangerous. I probably also don't need all these torpedoes. Oh, don't get me wrong, they're nice. What if we get rid of these and just have one larger... Um, uh, -da -da -da, broadside type thing. Go for like a yeah quintuplet one. In the middle, like what does E and F look like? No, oh. I want neither of these. I want probably H and I actually. I'm throwing a reload. Oh, that's quite expensive. It's like seventy tons. Although, hang on, is there anything stopping us through putting this in the middle and just having one of them? Apart from finding it looks silly with the superstructure. Oh, dual purpose not for triples. Fine, we can deal with that in a minute. So, are not balanced. Mount, uh, oh, yeah, hang on. Certainly, two notes can only be used in ships of 7,000 tons. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Something like that. We do have some torpedo capability, but that's not their primary role. We can't dual purpose these unless we drop down to two. What does that do to our HA factor? Mm, that is quite a loss. But then if we were going to keep it, we'd have to drop it into two. So it's really 42 versus... 33. But then we get more of those. So actually, we're better off doing that. Not having dual purpose 6 inch guns and just having more 5 inch secondaries. Okay. We've got two SAMs, we've got oh, 30 mines, don't really care about mines, thank you very much. Seems a little bit of weight. Enough to go for that. Maybe. Oh yeah, we're too heavy here anyway. I've actually even got 18 tons remaining. Level ammo. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So she should do okay against destroyers, against air, which is her primary role. 
and just in case anything gets too close, we can buy a whole bunch of torpedoes at them and run away. Fast and supporting, yeah. No, I just need to remember that when we actually get into combat and not throw them into the middle of a, a pack of enemy ships. And it'd be quite interesting. I think I, I definitely feel I need to have a lot more focus on, especially at this stage, the viability of my own ships rather than killing off theirs. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we could go cramped accommodation, but I don't want to. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Oh, now all of a sudden I got 50 tons left. Could I sneak in? Could. Okay, well, that makes me happy. Ma mainly because it's now an even number of it can be split in double gun turrets. Either way, that will do. Yep. Okay, two months. Good. And then we'll build as many as we can. Okay, we're on prize rules. Ah, I don't think it's much. So much point in that fact. Let's go out run restricted. I've got like three subs. It's going to make almost no difference, but we'll do it anyway for the sake of it. And we are not planning to invade anywhere yet. Which is probably fine. I don't want to do that until I've got some of. Probably until at least I can get these out and release the rest of my destroyers to the fleet. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Alright, just do that. Cruiser battle. Okay, we're pretty much on cruisers. Wow, they declined. Excellent. Leaped battle. Now this is a fleet battle in an area I control. Unexpected. Mm, could be interesting. Let's do it. Please attack ships. Now we are going to be, our land-based forces are a little bit light. Oh, of course, it's night time. Brilliant. Okay, what have we got? Oh man, what time in the, where, 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 where are we? It is dawn. Six and a half hours and I have my entire, um, maybe not my entire. Oh, maybe my entire uh, air fleet. Do you know, I only found out about this clock icon in, uh, who was it, in one of RVT uh, videos he did on his French series where he used it. Previously, I was always having scrolling out and looking at the clock, the clock down here and looking at the time thing. Honestly, you learn something new every day. Okay. Um, this, is, this is pretty terrible, actually. We've got our old battleships, great, but a whole bunch of carriers which are absolutely useless. And presumably we don't have control because it's an unexpected battle. Let's just run until we do have control. I do not want to be, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah, look, you guess you come south, right? I'm going to make just cut and run, try and get everyone to fax. At least that general direction. Kick up your speed, head south. You guys do the same. There's absolutely no, no need for you to be here. This battle generator is not playing nice at all. You guys head down that way. Uh, what have we got? We've got Vizenta and Minerva. Sure, you guys can come and probably do a little bit of screening. I'd like to try and pull out my battleships if I could. It depends. If we can keep them long enough, if we can keep them engaged till daybreak. What's my squad max now? 25, as it should be, because I rebuilt all the engines. And it might not be worse. Let's. I don't want to. I don't want to turn that way. It's a terrible decision. Let's do that. Let's do turn together. And we'll do a quick turn south. I apologise, my captains, for the terrible connections of orders I've just given them. Right, that's good. We are. I like this firing at unknown contacts. Good. You need to cut south as quickly as you can. If I go squad max for just now. Is they have a lot. Hey, we hit them. 
One hit does not a battle win, but hey, I'll take it. Fresh blood's always nice. Why are you now deciding to hold fire? Radar ranging. Yeah, it's cool. I'm surprised they don't have it though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought I was fighting the British for a minute. Don't be ridiculous, Rick. In French. Not that that's a reason that they would be technolo technologically behind me, but they may not have it yet. Okay. This intrigues me. Right, you guys just, yeah. Max speed, please. I want more ships over here to help protect these guys. I'm I'm okay to kind of sail in this general direction for now. As long as we don't come too close, we'll just sit here and shoot them. And they're not shooting back. So I'm kind of okay with that. Now, I do get why you guys are on that side for just now, but you're going to have to move over in a minute. Or I'm going to have to pull away. Do a quick change of course. Oh, our speeds are all okay. Yeah, uh, yeah no, 23 is okay. That's below your max. And I'm kind of okay just keep them within our radar range and shooting at them. Uh-oh. He says as suddenly the torpedoes come in. They have blind launched some torpedoes at me. Not straight, not long. Torps go farther and faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bit of that. Now you tell me. Um, okay, I, I suspect it's too late. And let's... Which way do I turn? Let's do a quick turn towards them, actually. That was surprisingly worked out surprisingly okay. Okay, and then we'll straighten up again. Huh. Okay, they've got some more fleet more ships over here. Okay, so have to be aware of torpedoes even. These ranges, yeah, let's let's maybe open up the uh, distance a little bit. We are still still in the dark. So I don't like these ones just dipping by me, but I'm not sure there's much I can do about that. All right, you guys, would you get into your? Ah, oh, yeah, we go. Line ahead, please. Okay, keep them at the edge of torpedo range. I think that's all right. I think those are the heavy units. Mm, okay. Maybe the ones I then want to be turning towards. We've got our screens coming in at least. Or screens. Two ships. Okay, uh, do you mind? Right, I'm going to turn away. Might be time for. You are one of my old de destroyers, yes? Uh, no, you are not. Who else have we got? I cannot click and click and like. There we go. And we are going to have to bring this episode to a close, unfortunately, in the middle of a battle. So the war with France has kicked off, probably slightly earlier than would have been ideal. Uh, we've still got a few ships being built or rebuilt, and um, you're a little bit away from having the ideal kind of ships for trade protection, but not too far. So I think it was right to uh, take the chance now and see if we can't make the most of it. This first fight's a bit of a cagey fair. It's nice to see us using our radar to have a significant advantage. Uh, I'm not convinced we're landing much in the way of hits though, but we'll see how it finishes up in the next episode. As ever, this was taken from a Twitch live stream. If you're interested in coming and hanging out, there's a link in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one.